Um, oh, speaking of trolls, by the way, uh, I'm going to talk about Ralph Mania in a little bit. But before I do, I have to call out something extremely fucking gay. And this, this, almost, this almost killed Ralph for me, but then Ralph did something like this week. I was not going to talk about him just because the Ralph Mania shit was kind of boring. And uh, there's some other shit that happened that was fucking gay as shit. And we have to talk about this. Because um, I need to reach out to people who are in the sector. And I need to denounce somebody in the strongest possible words. There is like a group of absolute fucking queers on Twitter. Uh, and among them is like Kino Shay. And then this guy called Deranged Faggot that pretends to be Nicholas J. Fuentes on Twitter. These people tried to do a gay op where they found a video of May eating a taco on Digibro's channel. And they pretended that it was pornography of May because they cropped it in a suspicious way. And they put this out there as being like a real thing. And it took mere minutes for people to figure out that this was, that this was all bullshit and debunked it. And then now they have gone out and they've just found like random porn of fugly anorexic women and are photoshopping May's face into it to try and like sexually humiliate her. I really don't even know what the objective is. It's either they're desperate to see May naked or they just want to like, like line cross. I, I think producing like fake pornography of people is probably criminal harassment. I, it's, it's pretty fucked up, even if it isn't. Um, but these people are really really fucking gay and when you are this fucking gay you make ethan ralph look like a reasonable person um so i i i honestly i i'm 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 about to declare fatwa on them because i i never want to hear about these fucking degenerates again i kind of hope that they ruin their their shitty little lives over the dumbest fucking stuff possible over trying to troll ethan ralph i hope they go to jail on unironically at this point because it's like how can you, how can you, being this fucking gay is like criminal. Being this fucking gay should violate some sort of statute that, that gets triggered at this point. Cause it's, you're, you're kind of sucking the joy out of everything for everyone. It's not, it's not even trolling. Like if you hate Ralph this much here, if you hate Ralph, listen, Ralph this much and you want to be a hero and make content, just fly out to wherever the fuck he's going next when he next announces his, his trip and just assault him. Just get a baseball bat and, and try to beat him with it. Cause that's like at this point, you're you're gonna you're gonna um try and enforce content this hard. Just pick a fight with him on the street. That would be funnier. That would be more interesting than you uh like lying about porn at this point. I'm not encouraging any I, I'm obviously denouncing um this and i'm denouncing violence but i'm just saying if you're if you're gonna go that far you might as well just be if you're gonna be like a full-blown criminal just be a criminal don't be like a pussy criminal doing shit in discord being that just go be an actual fucking criminal in the name of trolling ethan oliver ralph like how embarrassing how utterly embarrassing and i i called this motherfucker when i when i saw him posting on the forum because if you don't know kinoche joined the kiwi farms and he made like a dozen like uh not even a dozen posts like 50 posts a day advertising his twitter watermarking his clips on on twitter and shit and it's just like how has nobody kicked your ass how did you get through your life to this point behaving like this without anyone kicking your ass how did your mom not kick your ass how did people at school not kick your ass how did your priest not beat your ass for being this way like what happened how 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 did our society fail you how it's like when i'm watching someone who's like a crack hedge you know on the street like how did you slip through the cracks little guy how did how did our society let you down like this how did you become kinoche without getting your ass beat by your dad but what's happened is we, we need to bring back accountability. It's very frustrating. Cause it's like, I, I hate pe speak, like speaking of, I have a lot of frustrations with retards right now. Cause um, the other one is the Patrick Tomlinson thread. The, the Pat people here, here's what happened with Patrick Tomlinson. He sued the, the owner of the Opie and Anthony forum uh, who goes by quasi and quasi 
uh, now has him for like tens of thousands of dollars in legal debt that he can collect on that he's trying to. They're like setting up their own debt collection company in uh, Wisconsin or Michigan so that they can, um, I think it's Wisconsin. He lives in Milwaukee. Uh, so they're gonna they're gonna try to collect him. It's like okay, that's fine, that's fair. You have a legal right to do this. Go ahead. But his his lawsuit was funded by a nonprofit, and it's not a five hundred one c three. It's a different five hundred one c. It's like a a brotherhood or a guild or something. It's one of the weird ones that you don't often hear about. But um, Tomlinson belonged to a sci fi writers author guild. Um, which again is a non-profit, but it's not a not a 501c3. Um, it's a different one. It's like a, a league, and they funded this lawsuit. So the Patrick Tomlinson people are now reporting his guild that funded the lawsuit to the IRS for fraud, and that's obviously really fucking gay because it's not fraud. If you are if you are a guild that protects the interest of sci-fi authors and a sci-fi author in your guild is having legal issues and you decide to fund it, that's not outside their purview. Um, and they, they try to compare this and say, well, you reported trans lifeline to the IRS. Like, yes, I did. That's because I knew because they were using charity money to fly to Florida to harass my mother and to show off their their fucking firearms as they did so, I knew that they were embezzling money. And it came out that they were embezzling $350,000 over years of charity money to their lifestyle. Um, and they, they, they just don't get it. They don't understand. There's something wrong with these people. And then I say that I think that they're the ones doing the swatting to, to Patrick because I think they are. And they get super pissed off at me and say, actually, it's the Kiwi fags who are doing the swatting when it's not. And then they, um, they like send tips to the FBI saying that I'm swatting Patrick Tomlinson. And it's like, okay, so this is a, a cordoned off area of mentally ill people and they're leaking onto my site. And I don't, I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. Cause I want to talk about Patrick cause I think when he's funny, he's funny, but in doing so, I'm encouraging people. It's like with, with Ralph. I'm like, somehow by talking about this and, and using this content, I'm encouraging people to do this shit that is anti funny and that ruins it for everybody. Because they're, they're I don't, it, how, how hard is it to have multiple interests? I have like a bunch of people that I follow. And when stuff comes up, I'm entertained. And there's stuff like every, obviously, there's every week, there's stuff that happens. And they're so fixated on Patrick and they've morally justified doing literally anything they want to Patrick that they're going to, um, they're going to be buddy, buddy with the IRS. They're going to, they're going to, uh, make false police reports to the fucking IRS. The, the most evil organization that has ever po fucking lived besides maybe the CIA. You're going to, you're going to play games and, and go to bat and send for the IRS. I just don't get it. Um, and I don't understand how they're entertained. Like, again, it's not, it's funny when someone trips and falls because they're, they weren't paying attention and they said, I'll never trip and fall. And then they trip and fall and say, God damn it. It's somebody else's fault. Even though they tripped and fell all by themselves, it's completely different. And somebody says, I'm never going to trip. And then you take a bat or a golf club and you swing it and break their fucking kneecap and they fall over and start crying out like th that. <laughs> Just, like, just go, if you want to be that kind of person, get off my fucking website. Go be Patrick Bateman. Walk around the streets of New York and just stab homeless people to death in, in the night. Like, get the fuck away from me. Why do you have to fag up my shit? Why do you have to get into my world where things are funny and organic and just fuck up me and my stuff and the stuff for the thousands of people who want to read it and see things develop on their own? Just go be a psychopath. Why do you buy yourself for your own entertainment? Just, I don't get it. it. It has to be like, they're afraid. I can't go, go glassing homeless people on the streets of New York because 
I'm afraid that a homeless person might rape me if I do that. I might be overpowered and raped by homeless people as I try to. But when you're just phoning in bullshit to the FBI or to the IRS, then you're completely insulated from the con negative consequences of those actions, except for the fact that you're actively fagging up your own content. It's, it's, it's really, it's really annoying. And it's not just them. The DSP people do it too. It happens to Ethan Ralph. And you're really, really making things gay and not fun. Uh, and it's it's sort of the, um, I don't even know, man, because it's like when the forums started getting popular, you had locales, and they you could watch them, and they wouldn't be molested by your observation. When you watch something and you're a small community, then you can be assured that the people there that you know that you're friends with are not going to go fucking with this person. And then obviously the next thing that starts happening in 2015 or so is that people start immediately knowing their threads because people send them links to their threads because the funniest thing that could happen in their mind is that the locale comes over to the site or starts interacting directly with the thread. And that's not funny. It wasn't even funny back then. And that was irritating. And now fast forward another year, it's like, okay, now we're just now people are just gonna start swatting and making like fake porn, deep fake porn over a fucking May to try and, and like uh actually like line cross and commit crimes to force reactions out of these people. And it, it sucks. It really sours the mood. I I honestly honestly, man. I would I would love it if something happens to these people. I, I would love it if the if they get scooped up because I I really hate the government. But here, if to my Fed agent, I'm gonna file a form twenty seven six in, in regards to this. This is my official complaint as a um a observed person of interest by the government. Um, if you want to score a lot of brownie points for for the agency and do some PR. Find the people swatting and scoop them up. You, I, I will report favorably on the agency. It will be reported in the news. It'll quell this kind of epidemic. People will enjoy it. It'll be some good publicity. So signing off on my Form 27-6C, uh, make sure, just get, do something about the fucking line crossing harassment. It has, and I, I don't even, like, I, I, I don't know what else to do about it besides just ignore it like if someone's but then that creates a game you have someone who's swatting somebody and if i just say okay the people who are after patrick are ruining it for everybody i'm just gonna lock the thread well then what's what it's like um that paradox in india how the british government paid people for the heads of cobras king cobras so what happened? The Indians started breeding king, king cobras, and they had to cancel the sub, um, the 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 bounty because the financial incentive to bring them dead cobras meant breeding cobras, which was the exact opposite of the actual intent. So it's like if I lock threads of people being swatted, well, what does that do? That encourages people to swat themselves and shit. And it's like it's a real it's a real rock in a hard place, is what I'm saying. And I just really wish I wish upon a night a night star that the faggotry would cease immediately. Hey, wall this site. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Super, that's, that's what's on my mind right now. I really, with, between, between, like I said, multiple factors of people just being um, really awful. Really, really and, it's, and it sucks because it reflects negatively on the site. It reflects negatively on the site, which does have strong a strong uh, rule and a strong zeitgeist against the faggotry. But then you have the Ethan Ralph Kinoche Discord server. You have the ONA forums, and then you have um, all the DSP A logs in their hole, the Wings of Redemption people in their hole, and the stuff that they do ultimately gets blamed on us. It's, it's really not fair. And it's uh, it's not funny either. People don't want to see it. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.